Hi over there, I have a thought I would like to share with you today. You know, as long as you are in this world, you will have problems. And that's what Jesus said. He said, as long as you are in this world, you will have problems. But rejoice in this, that I, Jesus said, I have overcome this world. If he is the overcomer, he has overcome sin, he has overcome death, he has overcome problems, he has overcome Satan. And if you believe in the overcomer, just imagine how your life would be to realize that the overcomer, the greatest overcomer in this world is with you, in you, beside you. So when he was addressing his disciples, one day he took them through an incident where there was a big storm that hit the boat they were traveling in. The disciples thought they would die. Similarly, at times, financial crisis, health crisis, family crisis, different kinds of crisis, they hit our life, they hit our family. And we think everything is over. But let me tell you, storms are just a part of our life. As long as we are breathing in this world, if not yesterday, if not today, be sure tomorrow there will be some kind of storm. But what we fail to realize is in that incident, which is recorded in the Gospel of Mark chapter 4 verse 35 onwards, the Bible says Jesus was speaking before the storm, he was speaking during the storm, and he was even speaking after the storm. So the problem was not with Jesus, the problem was not with the storm, the problem was with the disciples because they were not listening. The same thing happens to us. When we are about to go through a storm, we are not listening because we are so busy with other voices in this world. When we are going through the storm, we are still listen, not listening because we are just listening to the voices of fear. And once the storm is over, again we fail to listen because we think that we have overcome the storm by our own strength, which is so wrong. Actually, God is speaking to you before, during, and after the storm. So my request to you today is, tune your ears to listen to God's voice. He is always, always speaking to you. And lastly, sometimes God allows you to go through the storm but in the storm he is with you and sometimes God calms the storm whatever it be let me tell you God is with you take care